This is CBS 11 News Now. It's News Now, our digital update. Good morning, I'm Karen Borda. Tributes continue to pour in across all across North Texas for fallen Richardson police officer David Sherrard. Our Jennifer Lindgren is at McMillan Junior High School in Wiley, where his daughters go to school with how students and teachers are going to be honoring him today. It's not only people in the city of Richardson showing support for police and Officer David Sherrard's family, but also here in Wiley as well. His two daughters are 7th and 8th graders here at McMillan Junior High School. You can see they've tied blue ribbons around the light poles, all the trees, and part of the building on campus. And everyone walking in the front door today, for the most part, is wearing some sort of blue clothing. They're bundled up right now because it's very cold out here, but everyone is wearing blue in support of the police family. There are also posters up inside the building. So when his daughters do return to school, they'll know that they are supported. Over in Mesquite ISD, uh, Officer Sherrard is a graduate of Mesquite High School. Students and teachers also in blue there today. Officer Sherrard's funeral is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be held at Watermark Community Church in North Dallas, and it starts at 2 o'clock. Just such a sad story. It's been several days, but it doesn't, doesn't get any easier. All right, our weather, that's something that everybody's talking about today. Thank goodness we don't have any sleet this morning like yeah. we did yesterday, but it is still bitterly cold. Did you hear that sleet? Were you inside when you heard the sleet? I, I was sleeping. So. Oh, you yeah, are. You were sleeping. Well, did it wake yeah, you up? It did not wake me okay, up. Okay, good. I'm glad yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It definitely uh, was loud at times mm -hmm. because it was coming down. A pretty moderate sleet there. It didn't last terribly long yesterday morning, thankfully, uh, but it did cause some slick spots. We don't have that problem this morning. It is dry. It is cold, though. It's below freezing still in uh, Frisco as we uh, are live here just after 9 o'clock on this Monday morning. I do expect to see the clouds that we have out there here in the next several hours begin to thin away. So I know it looks like it's going to be another dreary day. I do think we'll see some sun this afternoon. And when we see that sun, we should warm up to about 51 degrees, which is still below normal for this time of year. But at least we will have that sunshine. Now, I'm going to skip ahead to the end of the week because uh, I'll show you the seven day forecast in a, in a minute. There's a lot going on on it, so we'll take that slowly. But this is one of the things you'll see reflected in the seven day forecast. Another Arctic cold front for the end of the week and another opportunity perhaps for a little bit of wintry precipitation. It's still very early, but Friday night into Saturday morning, we could see a little bit of the rain changing over, changing over to freezing rain or sleet. Nothing set in stone right now, but we'll keep an eye on that for uh, going into the weekend. Now, it's 51 today. Tomorrow, we have a chance of rain. Clouds will thicken up tomorrow, 49 the high. But then notice how quickly the temperatures jump up on Wednesday and Thursday. It will still be mostly cloudy, so not a great deal of sun. But highs near 70 on Valentine's Day, 80 on Thursday. And then that cold front gets here, and we'll take about a 40-degree temperature drop. So uh, Friday, cloudy, rainy, 40 degrees for a high. Windy, too. It's going to be uh, feeling like the 20s all day on Friday. And then again, Friday night, we have to watch out for that possibility of a little bit of wintry weather. Uh, still a little early, but there's a lot going on in the weather this week. No kidding. A little bit for everybody. If you like it warm and you have some of that, and if you want it cold again, Friday. And what is it we always say? If you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. It'll change in a, in a heartbeat. It's going to change, yeah. right? Okay, this is one of those stories where um, it's almost like poetic justice. A couple of package thieves, probably a little stunned and maybe grossed out by what they stole from one woman's mailbox. She says the thieves got away with a package containing 500 live cockroaches. Oh. She's an entomologist. That's a scientist who studies insects. And the roaches were part of a study she's conducting. <laughs> <sighs> Police say mail theft is common this time of year because of all the tax paperwork going out, the uh, the returns and stuff like that coming uh, in for people. So that right there is vengeance, I think. Go. Yeah. Now, would you rather have that happen to you or the lizard thing from last week in the south? Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I still haven't gotten past that one. I think maybe the cockroaches. Oh, just Both bad. Both of them are, yeah. Bad, bad, bad. Gross. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching CBS 11, the ones for Texas. For the latest updates, head to CBSDFW.com. We'll be back with another Facebook Live News Now coming up at noon. Have a great day.